Hello there you guys, happy Sunday. Today is the start of Vlogmas week number two. I hope you're enjoying week number one. We're gonna go for food now. We're currently in a restaurant. We're in the south of Tenerife and just get into rolling. I'll show you everything else. Mojo picón. Voy un salmón. Un salmón. Será súper rico. I can tell my thong is off, and like my ball sack is popping out. <laughs> Sorry for the TMI, just thought I'd let you know how it is wearing a skirt and walking with a very uncomfortable thong. That's my life right now. My balls are popping. My balls are cool. I thought it was going to be super aesthetic and show something really cool, but it's just a palm tree. <laughs> There's a really, really handsome guy over there, like right behind me, like right there. You see him? Right there, right there, right there. Oh my God. So handsome, he seems staring at me. Vamos rapidito. Here we have the Masca Visitor Center to the right. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. It's the scenery, you guys. So Everywhere I go, I feel so single because I see couples getting pictures together. I'm single. So we're currently having dinner. I'm sorry that I haven't vlogged much at all today. It's because everywhere we go has music and it's I'm gonna get copyright claims. So I'll probably just show you what we're doing and what we're eating, but I'm gonna add music over it every time this happens because today has been an absolute failure. Una pregunta de dónde eres? Ah, mira. Vale. Okay, so fuck the music. I'm fucked. Two cocktails down. Don't know where we go next. Mark Jacobs has a camera, has a purse that is called the camera bag. What? I think I need it. Again, copyright. See you later, sound. That's the jingle bell. Let's go. The mistletoe. They're playing Christina Aguilera, guys. My night is made. Where are you from? Romania. Ah, Romania. Qué fantasía, Romania. I think there's like a stag do or something in front of us. Like in the hotel right in front of us. There's like six guys. I don't know if you can hear them laughing. I'm like, should I flash my tits? And come over there and be like, hey guys, what's the party? What's going on? I want to join. Please, I'm bored. I'm tipsy and I'm lonely. Hi. 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 Hey guys, it's the next morning. We're going to go into Siam Mall, the huge shopping center in the south of Tenerife. I'll give you a little montage again because there's copyright everywhere, so I can't really film. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you. So we're looking at K 
waves right now. I hope you can hear me because this microphone has a little fluffy thing. So you should be able to hear me. Didn't even notice your punches get to roll. I'm a little bit late to the trend, but hey ho. I don't know where the fuck they are. They entered a cave. Don't know which one. Are they in this one? Hola! Okay, so we're entering the cave together. If we die, we die together. I suppose. I shouldn't even joke about that. This is really scary. <laughs> so we're not lost anymore. We found them. This is actually really fucking scary, you guys. Like, they're so deep. Look how her legs go, like, down the, the rocks. Imagine this fell now on top of our heads and we just died here. Nobody would know. Ay, que eso? Como que me da caga en serio. Ay, que coño, que me... Que me... Me caga en la puta. I just died for a second there. Scared the fuck out of me, these bitches. Oh, I swear I don't feel good, man. Now I'm like dizzy and shit. I hate being pranked or being scared. And they fucking know. It was a good, it was a good scare, I won't lie. That, that was actually very smart. Oh, I feel sick. So hey guys, it's the next morning, it's the leaving day, we're finally, well no, fi that sounds rude, it's not like we're finally leaving Tenerife, but I also like, I am quite excited to go. I feel like this beanie does not look amazing. I was super sick last night, super sick, like bad, like I didn't even leave the apartment, they all went for dinner and I didn't go because I felt so sick. We think it was food poisoning, like my mom had to go to the pharmacy and get me some uh, tablets and everything, but I feel fine now. I know that my sister is obsessed with the little jacket that I got from Shein and she likes baggy, like super baggy clothes. She's a fucking skinny bitch and she likes 1XL jackets. She's been begging for it the whole holiday and I actually just wore it once and I don't really like it. I don't really get this. I, I think it's great material, like it's super good material, but I'm not in with like the kids. <laughs> Why does it look like it's backwards? You know, like, this looks like it should be the inside, right? Well, it's not, but then the inside looks... I would wear it inside out, because the inside looks perfect. The outside looks wrong. But it's how it is. It's so not me. She loves it, so I'm gonna give it to her now. I'm gonna be like, you've been a good girl. Thanks for being my Chanel number two. <laughs> Here's your pressy. <laughs> No, la quieres? La tiro corazones, la tiro. <laughs> she loved it. This has literally been saving my hair. Not kidding. Like, very really well liquid crystals, macadamia, and avocado oils. Saving my hair. Like, my hair looks brand new. Like, it's actually insane. Everybody should have it in their lives right now. Go get it. I got it in the store pre-more, but I'm sure if you just look Reveal, Revuel, I'm not sure what you call it, but I'm sure if you look it up online, you can find it. So good. Not me finding, like, actual Pampers grass, like real Pampers grass, right here, in front of the hotel. English, like UK, American YouTubers would die for this. You're actually dying for this right now. But I think in order to like put it in decoration, like in your house and stuff, you have to like dry it or like, I think it, you have to put like hairspray on it so you don't get any bugs and the leaves like don't fall and like, you know, make a mess out of your house. But it's super pretty. Que bonito toda la Navidad y todo. Adoramos. You guys, it's very so big. I'm obsessed. I'm definitely gonna vomit this time. I hate fairies. I fucking hate them. If you feel if you feel sick, use me. Use me. That's like men using me. <laughs> Hello. So I am back. I'm home. I'm here with this. <laughs> oh my god. I'm here with my little baby. Oh. 
Hello. I was again a very shitty, very stressful morning because of the whole boat situation. Why fairies and I don't do well at all, I don't understand. It was just way too much for me. Couldn't deal, felt sick. What can you do? Absolutely hated it. Got home. There you go. I slept for like. I think like four hours because I think we got home around five like oh careful it was a really really long day because we left the apartment around oh my god you scared the fuck out of me you absolutely just scared the flying fuck out of me oh my god I'm I'm watching Anastasia Kings North uh, vlogmas and he just stepped on this space. Oh my god. He's, he just stepped on my keyboard and pressed play. And that I thought that was like fucking Satan. Honestly. That Conjuring film. I watched it a few days ago. On like a Tinder date. But it's weird because the film itself wasn't super scary. I think the exorcism of Hannah Rose. Hannah Rose? Emily Rose? No I think it's Hannah Rose. It has to be the name Hannah, for sure. Hannah Grace. Sorry, there's an Emily Rose and there's also a Hannah Grace. The one with Shay Mitchell in it. That film. That film has to be the scariest film I have ever watched. Like, the scariest, scariest, most scary film I have ever watched. Like, yeah, you can watch a scary movie and be like, I, I think I am scared of, like, the jumpiness. Like... Jumping movies make me like feel a bit weird. Do you know what I mean? Like when you're watching it and you have to go like this. Like I'm that bitch that will go. <gasps> but there's movies where it really like freaks you out. Like that one with Shay Mitchell in it. The Hannah Grace exorcism movie. I remember I watched it in the cinema with my cousin. Both of us were like what 20 something. Like 22, 23. When I tell you I had nightmares. Nightmares for like over a week. About that film. Scared the living hell out of me the same same as like the movies like the saw you know the saw saga movies they scare me especially the first ones they really scare me because it could actually kind of happen the exorcism of emily rose was a little bit weird but i don't know do i believe in that stuff or do i not do you i, I feel like you don't but then you don't want to say you don't because you kind of do but then you kind of don't but what if you know what i mean it's like what if the whole satanism shit is real i'm not like a super like i'm not christian myself like i'm not a believer and like god i don't go to church i don't pray i don't do any of these, thi out of these things i like i believe in myself and i believe in like manifestation and all these things but it's like all that it's like do i believe in it i don't but if i don't why am i scared if i don't why am i scared of saying things and then i have to be like just kidding you know i don't know it's weird it's weird. The whole topic for me is weird. Like, it's the whole Satanism. Because I know people believe in it. And I know there's people that actually, like, praise to, like, Satan and witchery. And I've got, I've got so many friends that, like, I know. Wait. I know so many people. Yeah, I had to repeat that because I actually don't have many friends. <laughs> but I know a lot of people um, that believe in all these things. And I remember this, like, there's this girl that I know that her mom was, like... I don't know what the correct word for it is in Spanish, but she, like she was cursed and they had to go to like this woman that lives in like my island, but it's like far away, like an hour away, like near like the north, whatever. And they had to go to her so she could cleanse her and it kind of fixed her. And there's a lot of people that get like sick from like curses that other people do. I don't know. It's a weird thing. But then again, I'm the most magical person. Like I believe in like wizards and i believe in mermaids and i believe in fairies and please do not hate on me please do not unfollow i swear i'm not five years old but i believe in that so like heavily like i swear mermaids are real not like the little mermaid i believe in like scary mermaids like there's something out there and i believe that one day we will have to like fight them hopefully i'm not alive to fight them but maybe hopefully i am just so I can see it and be like, I was right. Anyway, sorry, I'm dwelling here. This is like my type of topic. Such a scary thing. I feel like there's there's two types of movies that make me really scared. And that is anything to do with like demons and like Satan and exorcisms and all this like witchery shit. Like the conjuring vibes. 
someone is getting possessed and not like paranormal activity that shit like yeah like oh it's there but see then again saying this i'm like should i like be like joking in case it happens should i say like jk love you spirits because do i believe in it or do i don't am i just a scary bitch i think i think i'm just like a little pussy like i don't believe in it but i have to say like i do just in case whatever spirit comes to kill me now watch me now get freaked out at little noises i don't even know where i was going with this but basically just so like you know heart to heart we can get to know each other a little bit better i am scared of any demonic type of film like satan or curses or things like this like i've said 20 times already or i'm scared of like when it actually can happen like the saw movies where it's just a fucking crazy man there's a like kidnapping random people for a reason though so I, it would never be me because I'm a, I'm a nice bitch, okay? I'm a nice girl. I don't I do not do bad things to anybody. But, like, it's scary. And then he puts them in, like, this challenges, and then one survives. And it's like, really? I would never survive this thing. This is the thing. It's like, I would never survive. I think that that's why I'm, like, mostly scared because I know I would never survive. I can't even run. Anyway, I'm home. I'm safe. I've slept for, like, five hours. Left the hotel at 9 a.m. We had to drive for like an hour and a half. We had to drive like nearly 70 kilometers, I think we did. Uh, for Because we take the ferry in the north of Tenerife. We took the ferry in the north of Tenerife. But we were staying in the south. So strange. Don't know how that works. Uh, I normally take planes, so I don't know. The ferry took an hour and 40, an hour and 45. It was again like a bit wavy. It was kind of crazy. We got popcorn. We watched Gossip Girl. We did all the shit. And then... There was crazy traffic from the north, like, where the ferry... Where we got the ferry to, like, here in my island, Gran Canaria. Uh, it was crazy traffic to get down south. I don't live in the south. I'm, in, like, in the middle. Uh, my, my family, like, my parents had to go even further. But they dropped me here, and it took them forever. It was 5 p.m. when I got, like, in my house. And right now that I'm vlogging this... Oh, shit, so much tinder. Hello, Liam, whoever you are. Um, it's 10.36. 10 fucking 36, bitch. And I'm gonna open the calendar now, and then I will come back and show you. Because I've missed so many days. So we have four days to open, from the 3rd to the 7th that is today. So let's get to it. We have to find numbers 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. Mathematics. Woo. Smart girl. Didn't go to uni. <laughs> We're soaring, flying, there's not a star in heaven that we can reach. If we're trying, yeah, we're breaking free. Listen, I'd love to keep this box. I'm gonna do it. I will take all the Christmassy stuff off, probably, and I would like to repaint it or something, but it's such a cute box. Are you like me? Do you keep your storage? You know the world can see us In a way that's different than who we are I'm really in the mood to watch Camp Rock um, Do you know what it's like To feel so in the dark To dream about a light You know this Oh! Shining stars Okay, we got six and we got seven where the fuck are the rest? Even though it seems like it's too far away, I've got fuck's sake. Okay, so let's open them in order. Day number four, it says, know somebody who selflessly cares for others? Offer to make their dinner for a week. <gasps> I'm gonna make your dinner for a week. What the fuck? Oh. Is this like an exfoliating thing? What is this? I think so. I've never had any of them, but I think it's like for expo. Is this for your feet? I don't know, but it's giving me ASMR vibes. Day number five, we got... Oh, wait. Message five people in your phone book and tell them why they're awesome. Why they're so awesome. Who should I message? I'm not going to message anybody. But I know my best friend Karina is watching. So, hi, bitch. Love you. You're awesome because... You never judge me, and you let me be, 
me in my most unapologetic, unapologetic, Unapologetic Unapologetically Is that a word? You know what I'm trying to say Myself Like you let me be myself no matter what Like even if I make a wrong choice You're like that's you Love it And also to my other best friend Isa Which yeah I'm just here like You know getting my ball sack together Um she's probably going to be watching this too Um so I won't message her She's awesome because She proves everybody that you can meet your best friend through an app in 2012 and still be friends to this day. Even though we met, like, fucking five years later, we still kept contact from the day we met online. Like, our story is so weird. We didn't see each other. We never saw each other. We knew each other for four years through a fucking app. Like, TikTok, but, like, back in the day. We just became friends online. She was in Holland. I was in Spain. Five years later, I got to meet her. And we're still going strong. It's crazy. So, you're awesome. Love you. So, anyway. Vitamin E Gentle Facial Wash. Love that. All skin types. Perfect. I will be washing my face tonight. Bake with your besties and share your tasty treats at your local care home or food bank. This is so cute. Honestly, I know I'm a lazy whore and I'm not doing any of these, but... Whoever bought this also, you should be doing this. This is amazing. I'm gonna be baking with my bestie soon. Spoiler. This is amazing. I love shower creams. I think I got the coconut one last year in the advent calendar. I really liked it. The almond. It was almond or something like that. I really liked it. I like shower creams. They're super good. Like when I normally shower with body gels, but I think like once a week or like once, I do shave like every two or every three days. Sometimes I leave it like four days and then that to me I feel dirty like today today I'm feeling a bit like dirty because I haven't shaved in like three days four days um, So I would love to like go and wash myself with like shower cream and exfoliate and then go in with like I actually shave with conditioner Is that weird? Day number seven. Did I rate this? Yes, I did Day number seven, collect litter. Collect litter at your local park or wild place. Feel good. Enjoy that air. Litter, like litter for my cat. I don't know. I don't know what that means. Anyway, this one's small. Oh, coconut body shop lip butter. I've got like five of these, but they're good. I normally don't wear them like through the day. Just gonna be honest with you, I normally wear these, the, the uh, body shop ones, because they're full of flavor and they're buttery. So I like to sleep with them during the day. I'd rather use like a lip balm. But yeah, that's what I got. I'll probably show you at the end of the week what I got all together. But I said that last week and I didn't. So you just never know with me. I'm like so unpredictable, so fun. Is it 11 p.m. and I made a coffee just because I fancied one? Uh, yeah. Um, uh, what can I say? It's me you're talking to, bitch. Coffee doesn't really keep me awake anyway, so. It actually, I think, I think it actually puts me to sleep. Coffee relaxes the fuck out of me. I don't know what's wrong with me. As if I needed to be more relaxed. I'm the laziest cunt in the world. I've got so much shit to do tomorrow. I've got so much to clean. I've got so much laundry to do. It's so funny because I wore the same outfit for like four days, basically. And I packed like seven outfits for like four days. <sighs> so... Yeah, I'm a little bit of a mess. What can you do? Again, it's me. Hello there, you guys. It's been a while. Has it actually been a while? Or did I delete the footage from the last few days? That's probably it. I was just editing this vlog and I realized I just deleted the footage. Anyway, how are you guys? This is sex hair. Yes, it is. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is how I look after being roughly shagged around. Not roughly. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. I'm here with my water bottle. He just left. I was editing and again, I deleted the footage. The same that I did to my primer call. I am the worst YouTuber ever. Um, but I'm going to show you now also before I go. I believe I deleted day 8, 9 and 10. Is that it? 8, 9 and 10. I believe so. Where's my phone, bitch? I did a few days together. 
when I was doing this because I forgot on one of the days to show you and then I did a few days together. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I don't really know, bitch. I think this is all I'm missing. I'm not sure. This vlog is a bit of a mess. But hey, can you see me? This is what I've gotten for the last few days. This little scrubby thing. I really don't know what it is. I guess it's like to scrub your body. I'm gonna have to Google everything from the Body Shop calendar because I really don't know what they are. Some things, some things are weird. Then I got this purifying mask. It's Chinese ginseng and rice. It's a clear, clarifying polishing mask. It's very small, but I will have to give it a go at some point in my life. That was the ugliest thing I've ever done. Uh. Um, no, I can't wait to try this. It's very small, actually. Should we open it together? I thought it was gonna be black. Oh, that smells really good. Bitch. I don't know. I don't want to pour it. Can you see it? Don't think you can. Anyway, I'll have to try that at some point. We should try that in next week's vlog. Then this, I've already tried. I'm sorry, I had to. Berry Bath Blend Hydrating Bath Foam. Uh, or it also says shower, but this one. It smells unreal. It smells unbelievable. Can't keep up. I can't keep up with it. It's too good. And then also we have the, the Body Shop Vitamin C Vitamin. I keep saying vitamin. Vitamin? Is it vitamin or is it vitamin? Fuck it. Vitamin C Glow Sheet Mask. Super good. They also have this um, in a, like a serum or like in a cream. I don't have that, but at least I have this and I can try it. I'm obsessed with vitamin C. They also gave me the face wash. I don't know if I've showed it. I really don't know. Honestly, guys, I'm sorry. This vlog is a mess. I do not know what I did the other days in Tenerife because I deleted some things and I changed the settings from my SD card. I don't know what I did. Honestly, quite bluntly, I don't know what I did. So much has happened. I think I'm going to have to make a video about it. I think I'm going to tell you about it in like the next video that you see of me. I am currently like seeing a guy. Can you say seeing a guy? I think you can. I'm currently seeing someone. It just started. We were talking. We were talking for a while. But we were only just like started seeing each other, like seeing, seeing. Am I excited? I don't know. I'm, I'm learning. I've learned my lessons not to get too excited about anything too quick. Am I enjoying the moment? Yes. Am I finally enjoying sex? Yes. We will definitely talk about it in another video that will hopefully come to your screen, a screen near you on Wednesday. But I am going to have to end this weekly vlog here. Again, I'm sorry if it was a bit all over the place. I tried my best. Um... And I do hope you guys are enjoying it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a like if you did. It helps me a lot. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you again on Wednesday with a regular main channel video. And I'll see you again next Sunday with another weekly vlog. Love ya! <laughs>